<laughs> Figure I'd try something new today. 167 to get us underway. The Loxley Stefan Belmont Darts Review begins right now. Okay, guys, it is darts review time, and come on, what about that intro, right? Straight out of the gate with a 167, you know it's gonna make for a good video. And you know what, I've also said this about Loxley darts reviews in the past, you simply cannot go wrong with a set of darts from Loxley, right? They make some super nice stuff. Same can be said for this set of darts that you guys are about to see. But yeah, in today's video, I'll be taking a close up look and reviewing the Loxley Stefan Belmont darts Sponsored player from Switzerland, up and coming player as well. And you know what? I think maybe some of you remember the unboxing video I did probably about a month ago now. But when I got these darts, I switched it up and I wanted to try a new dart shop. So yeah, I picked these up from Darts Center. No complaints whatsoever. It was quick shipping to the United States. And on top of that, it was packaged extremely well. So yeah, 1010 for Darts Center. Highly recommend them. We'll have a link down below in the pinned comment. You can check them out and go check out all the uh, products that they offer, specifically the Loxley darts. Yeah, link down below in the pinned comment. But hey, let's hop into it, guys. I'm really excited to show you this set. They do come in two different weights, 18 and a half and 23 grams. And come on, you already know which ones I got, the 18 and a half gram darts, little tiny darts. But man, I'm telling you what, super nice. So let's hop into this video. It's going to be a good one. Here we go. Alrighty, let me show you this packaging. Quick peek of the darts and then straight into the rest of the video. But you know what, guys? I've said this in other reviews. You probably heard me say this, but if you're a sponsored player, I think that the least the company could do is put your picture on the packaging, which they didn't do here. So little pet peeve of mine, I guess. But you can pause the video and read all of that if you want. But yeah, Stefan does use 18 and a half gram barrels. So nice to see. But otherwise, compact cardboard hand case. But you guys came to see the darts. Check that out. Basic set of darts, black point up front. And you know what? When I saw the pictures online, I thought these were multi-rings, but if you see there, they're actually shark grip or razor grip, whatever you want to call them. So um, we have some fatter multi-rings in the middle. Going further back, well, we got the uh, Loxley logo here. Then further back, we've got the Loxley nylon stem. That is 34 millimeters, not including the thread. So short Loxley nylon flights. And on the very back end, We've got the Loxley standard size flights. And you know what? These things feel kind of sturdy, kind of thick for some reason. I'll assume they're 100 micron, but yeah, I don't know. They feel pretty thick to me for whatever reason. So there's the darts, but let's go right into the rotating stats and dimensions. Okay, guys, time for the ever popular rotating stats and dimensions. And I got to say, that is a clean looking set of darts on the basic side. But yeah, I think that's a great looking set. Let me know what you guys think. But we're going to start with the points like we always do, just comes with a set of generic black coated points. They stick out of the barrel, 28 millimeters in total. Now, as far as the barrels go, 90% tungsten. The barrel length, kind of on the short side at 47.1 millimeters in the barrel width with these being a straight barrel dart. On the skinny side there, 6.2 millimeters wide. Now I unscrewed the stem and checked out the drill depth. This is kind of surprising here. They're drilled out rather deep in the back, 19.1 millimeters deep, making these barrels just about right around 40% hollow. So that's going to make a straight barrel dart ever so slightly front loaded. Now, as far as the weight goes, 18 and a half grams or the advertised weight. And as we expect from Loxley, the weights should be excellent, right? Well, they didn't disappoint here. The first barrel, 18.51. The other two barrels, 18.54 grams. So only three one hundredths of a gram off from lightest to heaviest. Again, Excellent match weight from Loxley. Well done there. But at the same time, that's what we've come to expect from Loxley. But let's go into the next clip and I will try to describe this grip. Okay, let me do my best to describe the grip here on this barrel. And it should be fairly easy. I mean, we're only dealing with two different grip sections in the front and in the rear. We have this shark grip or razor grip, whatever the heck you want to call it. And it offers quite a bit of bite, that's for sure. But it's not like Super overly aggressive, if that makes sense. I'll go ahead and say grip level 3.7 on a scale of 1 to 5. But yeah, I mean, it's it's got some bite for sure. Now, funny enough, I'm going to be gripping the barrel kind of right in the middle. That's where my natural grip kind of falls. And believe it or not, the front of each one of these fat multi-rings, kind of sharp. I'm going to go ahead and say if you grip in the middle, 
probably like a grip level 3.2 on a scale of 1 to 5. So yeah, all depends on where you grip the barrel. Now let's see what we have up front. Yeah, a little bit of a lip there. I'm going to temporarily fix that with... We've got the Trident 180 nose cone. Those go on kind of hard with these black points. So there's that. I just don't want to bash on any flights. So we're going to throw the darts, I think, just like this. I haven't even thrown these yet, so I have no idea how they're going to fly. But that definitely feels like where I'm going to grip the dart, right in the middle. So yeah, let's get these things on the board and see how they fly. If this setup doesn't work for me, I'll probably change them out. But we're going to go with this for now. Here we go. Okay, guys, you ready for this? We're going to have a bit of fun tonight. We're going to go back to the checkouts, which I know a lot of people enjoy. However, tonight, we're going to throw at the wrong checkouts. I'm going to explain here in just a bit. But as far as the darts go, I may have undersold the grip level. Now that I've actually been playing with them for about five minutes, ah, they might have a little more bite, a little more grip than what I originally thought. Maybe it's closer to a grip level four. Again, that's going to vary from person to person, but... Yeah, they're, they're certainly grippy, sticking to my fingers. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw five checkouts right above my head, and we're going to throw again at the wrong checkouts. One of my pet peeves was when you walk into your local pub and they have one of those poster size checkout charts, and that checkout chart offers up the worst advice you've ever seen. So while I'm throwing at those five checkouts, we're going to pretend that the opponent is sitting pretty on a one dart checkout. Could be 32, 40, 16, doesn't matter. But they, all you need to know, they're sitting pretty on a one dart checkout. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with 77. So many checkout charts. I think you guys know they recommend treble 15. Let's see what happens. I'm going to try to hit the treble 15. There's your example right there. I hit a single instead of the treble. Now I'm left with 62, two darts in hand. Was there a better option there? Absolutely. 19s, you want to go 19s on the first dart. Had I hit a single 19, would have left a simple 58. 18 for tops. Now I'm stuck with 62. Basically ask yourself, would you rather be left with 62 or 58? It's not even up for debate, is it? So now, yeah, you're just making things way harder than they need to be. Let's see if we can convert anyway. Ah, there's going to be a lot of red above my head tonight. So yeah, you just got to watch those checkout charts. Don't trust them completely because, yeah, like, like I said, they offer up horrible advice. A lot of them do anyway. So hey, same premise with 79. A lot of them are going to recommend, you probably know, Trouble 13. Fine and dandy if you hit it, but the problem is, what if you don't? And not a lot of us are hitting, no, really not anybody can hit trebles at will. Not even the best players in the world. I mean, the whole idea is to make this game easier, right? Again, there's that single right on the wire, but now I'm left with 66, two darts in hand. Was there a better option? Yeah, 19s again. So I'm left with 66. Had I gone 19s, now I'd be left with 60. Two darts in hand. Much easier shot, right? So now I've got to go 16. Trouble 16 would be good to leave. Hey, I got one tonight. We'll take a green 79. But again, that was just making things a lot harder than they needed to be. Now, next one, 80. This one is still so popular in the United States. So many recreational players still go this way while the opponent's sitting pretty on a one dart checkout. I don't know why, but 80 remaining. A lot of checkout charts recommend, you guys know, treble 16. Let's see what happens. In theory, it's a good idea, but again, if that first dart misses, hey, it went in. Now, again, fine and dandy if it goes in, but... Had I hit a single 16 there, kind of screwed, right? 64 remaining, I would have had to go on 14 bolt. The correct throw would have been gone, um, when, would be to go 20s. Single 20, leave 60. Easier than this, but we'll take this. Ugh, dart stuck to my hand, but yeah, grippy darts. But I hope you guys are seeing the, uh, the pattern here. 
What you want to do or what you want to consider is what happens if you hit a single with that first dart. Are you making things easier or are you making things harder? What do we got next? Oh, 88. A lot of checkout charts are going to recommend that same treble 16, which in theory sounds good, but you have to be perfect on the first dart. So let's see if we can hit that again. Whoops. Stuck to my foot. That's a grippy dart. So now I've got 72 remaining, two darts in hand. I'm forced to hit a treble, or I guess I could go double, double, but I've just made a mess of things. With 88 remaining, you want to go 20s. A single 20 will at least give you 18 for the bull. Now I'm praying for either a double or a treble. Which, what do you want to do? We'll go double, double. Might as well. We'll try it. Still, way harder than it needs to be. Oh, I tried double 16 for top. So, yeah, 88, I didn't get a shot at a double. And finally, 90. A lot of players still do this. I, I have no idea why, but 90 remaining under pressure, you want to throw at the 20s first start. Single 20, single 20 gives you a shot at the bullseye. But so many checkout charts are going to tell you to throw at the 18s. Let's see what happens. Treble 18, double 18, great idea. However, it's not an easy shot. Unless you do that. So two darts at a double. But yeah, again, if I would have hit a single 18, things get tough really quick. Ah, nope. I think we got one green up there. I'll take that for throwing out the wrong segments. So there it is. Uh, hope you learned something there. Um, just gotta be careful that what you throw at, there's definitely some right options. There's definitely some wrong options under pressure. Of course, if the opponent is way the hell back, it doesn't really matter what you throw at, does it? But there we go, the darts, they're feeling pretty good. Little grippy, like I said, a little more grippy than what I thought. So I have to concentrate and remind myself, don't squeeze the barrel too hard. So it's not the easiest dart for me to throw just because of how grippy they are. But again, they do feel they do feel pretty nice, and I love the weight. You guys know I like a light barrel. So let's roll into, we got a 180 for you. We're gonna give these a recommendation, and we are out of here. Let's go. Lost a flight. Ooh. <laughs> I really gotta punch these flights. And you know what? I just... Uh-oh. Sirens. Just got a new flight punch, by the way. Oh, All right, there they go. Well, yeah, I got a new flight punch. I should have used it on this one. Just I was losing a lot of flights here, but... Easy enough to fix. And hey, I guess that's it. That's gonna do it. Hope you enjoyed the close-up look at the Loxley Stefan Belmont darts. If you did enjoy the video, thumbs up. Always appreciated. And what I prefer, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know what you thought of these darts. Again, reminder, I'm gonna have a link down to Darts Center, down in the pinned comment. You can check them out over there. They have a ton of nice stuff. And again, reminder, from what I experienced, the shipping here to the United States, not only was it quick, it was packaged incredibly well. So that's always a bonus. You're not going to end up losing stuff in the mail. So definitely a thumbs up for those guys over there at Dart Center. So now comes the time of the video where I give these a recommendation on how well I think they're going to work for a recreational dart player. Now I got to say 18 and a half grams. Yeah, probably a little bit too light for most players. However, like I said, they do come in 23 grams. And I think that's a perfect weight for a lot of players. Not too light, not too heavy. So I'm gonna kind of grade the 23 gram darts, even though I don't have them. But for the 23 gram darts, I think they're awesome. Front gripper, middle gripper, rear gripper, it's gonna work incredibly well for a lot of players. And again, it's Loxley, you know the quality's there. So for the 23 gram version, I'm gonna give those, ready for this, 8.7 out of 10. I think that's a fair score. So. Let me know what you think about that one. And until next time, guys, we'll catch you on the next video. I can't stick my darts in the board.
<laughs> Later. Why you